Hi there, my name is Joe Mongan. I'm with Metal Escapes LLC, and today I'm going to repair this apron, which is out of a 627 scraper that goes along and removes the earth that you've seen along the job site. It's got two big motors on it, and it hauls about, I don't know if it's uh, 16 yards of dirt at one time. And these plates on the side go down in the bowl because this closes and shuts the dirt off and lets the dirt out of the machine. So these plates are wore off and they need to be replaced. So the only way to really replace them is to cut them off. Well, to cut them off, you got to use what you call an air arc and you use these rods. And this is a bigger, bigger diameter than what I normally use, but they have all different diameters. And this is round. But I prefer to use a flat. And not too many people probably even know that they make flats, but the flat will turn and stay flat where the round will turn it into a point. So if you start gouging, you're going to gouge into your material, which will make more cleanup and a lot less. So the flat does a better job when you're just trying to skim off of the material. You're not trying to remove two inches of material, you're just trying to skim off what is there. So I'll show you this process. Okay, for now we're going to remove the other side and a lot of even with the carbon arc you have to make sure that you don't have the dirt on there because the, the carbon arc or the plasma gouger will not cut through the dirt. Dirt has to be removed because it's got a little bit of dirt on it. Um, I prefer to use a plasma gouger because it's a lot less dirty, doesn't put off as much because the carbon that you're using in the carbon arc throws the carbon out into the air. This, the carbon arc uses a lot more air volume wise, not pressure, volume wise, a lot more amperage. This is a lot finer detail. I, can, I have more of a fine tune, which will um, help me not have any cleanup. It doesn't introduce carbon into the area where I'm going to weld the plates back on. So you have a cleaner weld when you're done, less grinding. Overall, this is a better, cleaner process. Speaking of cleaner, I usually use a respirator, but I'm not for this video because we're only cutting off two plates. But when I'm gouging full time, I wear a respirator all the time, safety glasses, earplugs definitely on both processes, even though the air arc is about twice as loud as this. So overall, the investment for your shop would be to get a plasma gouger. There's all kinds of models out there because you use less air, electricity, saves you money, less parts. You don't have to stop, change parts, do all that. Just use the plasma gouger. Even with the plasma now, I can go back and even get that little higher weld right there and clean it off before I get ready to grind it off and because it, it's, you know, does, is finer control. As you can see here, we have wear that created an open seam here because it's open and closing on dirt all the time. So what has happened is, as the first crack got in there, which could have been this big, the dirt shoved in there got on there, there's cross members in here that right now you don't know where they're at. So you gotta, you can remove all this dirt and try to find them, but from a little bit of previous experience, I know there's a cross member right here and there's a cross member right here. So with the plasma cutter versus a torch or even the air arc, I can cut through here even though there's dirt because the plasma I can use as a, more of a skimming process plus it's less air. Uh, and I can go right up here, cut in here a little bit and find this cross member and then I will cut and remove this plate all the way across here, taking this whole plate out, 
and you've got to do it in a series of steps because that cross member is welded on, which means the plate is welded on top of the cross member from the underside. So you have to get rid of the plate. So you're going to have to have welds on both sides of this channel that you're going to have to take off. And the only way to do that is to find each channel and skim along each one to get, remove the welds to get rid of that whole plate so you can put the new plate back in here. So we'll try to, we'll cut this out and we get all the dirt out of here as we go because, you know, we just have more of an issue with the dirt in there because then it's going to get, it's going to steam a lot more and everything else because the dirt's wet. You see how, dirt, how wet it is. We'll remove that. We're probably going to have to remove this section of uh, channel here because it's bent, which has pulled this arm in. So we'll use the, we'll use the gouger to cut this channel out of here and replace it with a new one, put it back in here. This arm here is bent in, probably a result of whatever caused that dent. And we might have to cut off this, this extra gusseting here. And then we'll have to find something to help me pull this back. Actually, this arm's got to go out. Push that arm out, which last time I used a dozer and sat the dozer on here and used my crane to pull it apart. Don't have that option now, so I got to think of something a little bit different. So that's basically equipment repair. Always something's wrong with it. So you just got to figure out, and the main goal is, is to make it better when you're done with it.